Okay, I have a Medico M3 here. Uh, Georgia Jim from Reddit and Discord sent me a bunch of locks and, on loan, and this is um, one of them. It is a five pin lock with uh, pins that have to be lifted to the shear line and rotated to the correct uh, orientation. Um, I've done a few Medico classics on this channel, but um, this one, the um, ro rotations have like false gates um, and they have, there's a mushroom driver in there and a spooled key pin in there. So it's got some security features that the other, the, the classics don't. Um, I don't, it doesn't seem to matter too much because it has this little side pin here. Um, and the side pin needs to be depressed to engage the sidebar, which is kind of nice. You can pick all the uh, all the pins to the shear line before you even bother worrying about the sidebar. And you can also um, pick the rotation on the pins somewhat to get them at least to a gate or a false gate before you even push that button at all. S because uh, the finger pins reach slightly in um, even without that thing touched. So... Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go clockwise. I, I don't. I don't know if it matters. Um, we'll start by you know making sure everything's scrambled. I don't have a key for this. Um, he didn't have it. He didn't have a key. So let's see. Pin one springy. Two is springy. Three is springy. Four is binding unless that's wording. No, four is binding. Click out of four. Five. Click out of five. Nice clicks. Three. Click out of three. Two. Oh, some ugly clicks out of two. Like two clicks out of it. That must be the um, mushroom pin somehow. And one click really high. I didn't get any real core rotation. So my my button's not binding. So I'm going to have to do some rotation work. Let's check two. Two feels... I like guess binding now. Three, four, and five. Anything springy? Nothing springy. So let's go on to check some rotation. I'm still applying um, a lot of pressure or a lot of tension. And one one is like bouncy, um, meaning like you know once your your pins are set, your your key pins are just floating there by gravity. Um, so they'll feel, they'll float by gravity, but if the sidebar is binding against a pin, it's not going to have that little gravity floating feeling that you get from a from a set pin. It's going to feel like it's binding. So one is fine. Where's two? One is springy. Oh, there's two. Uh, if there if the pins are low, it's harder to tell because they don't have an, as much room to move. But um, Two feels like it might be binding, so I'm gonna let off tension quite a bit, and then I'm gonna like play with the number two's uh, rotation sum, and then uh, I'll put tension on, and I'll check for that that uh, free floating again, and then I'll let off tension, play with his rotation sum, check for that free floatiness. And I don't think I have free floating from two. I don't, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting on them too. Oh, okay. I think I have the floatiness from two now. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with uh, figuring figuring out where I'm at in this lock right now. Three is really high up there. It's hard dealing with a high cut after a, a low cut. Four sounds like a spring, so that could be the sidebar pressing in on number four. So I'm going to play with four a little and let off the tension a little, put it back on, take it off. All right, uh, pin dropped, but um, hopefully we're far enough over uh, to get still get play from the sidebar. If not, I'll just play with the rotations a little and then we'll go back to, um, it's probably pin one that dropped is my guess. It sounded like it was at the front. Uh, indeed, pin one, click, barely core rotation. Our button is still. So when you get um, all the rotation, once you get all the the pins to shear line, you get all the rotations at least in a gate or false gate. Um, 
this side button will bind and then you can push it and then you'll drop either to an open if you're in the gates or you'll just drop more false set if you have a if you have either um, a pin rotated to false gate or you have one of your um, driver pins in a spool or something like that all right let's see two three oh that wasn't that's four not two four three two sounds really hard like you hear that clacking of the pin falling from gravity with two I don't get that at all so with four I get it five I get it one you, you, one I get it two I don't get it so two in my opinion is the one that needs to rotate either that or it's not set at the shear line one of those two is happening to number two so I'm gonna play with number two a little bit more let off the gravity a little I mean let off the tension a little and see if we can't get them to rotate some. Oh, okay. That feels a lot better. Yeah, I feel it everywhere. Let's see if this button works. No, button doesn't work. I, I have a feeling then that somehow I'm guessing it's number two is not set. I'm going to let off the tension, lift to a little higher. That's four. Dang it, I feel like I'm messing up rotations now too after I spent all the time getting them. All right, rather than mess it up too much, I'm going to let off, uh, reset it but I maintain uh, rotations at least and I'm going to go through and uh, redo um, the, the shear line pick. Click from 5. 4 might have been set while setting 5. 3 click and a little bit of rotation. Let's try 1. Click from 1 and now it's just 2. Alright so click from 2 and might have dropped 1 while doing that. Indeed we did click from one and now I got some rotation which is good check my button button is not binding Let's see if I lost some of this rotation I think I might have lost two's rotation again two man you're so mean to me two come on two or two Is that still two or is that three now? That's two, right? Oh, two. What is going on? Is that three there? Or is that four? It's kind of hard to tell which one's which in here. All right, all the way at the back. Sounds good. This one's easier for me to bounce up and down on to one, two, three. They all sound good. Four. If any of them, it might be four. I can't really tell. Can I push a button? No. It's boggling me a little bit right now. Three. Two. Oh, I got a little bit of uh, a core rotation. Let's see if I'm binding now on the no. Still not binding uh, on the button. Do more of what I was doing. Go back to my rotator, the Peterson gem. What pin? 
seven is that? Is that four? Five? Four, if anybody might be giving me problems. U4. I don't think it's four. I don't think it's three. I don't think it's two anymore. Or one. Button? No. Huh. Maybe it likes me the other way around. Let's try counterclockwise. <laughs> Five. Nope. Spring. Four. Three click. Oh, that felt like warding. I'm not sure. Click, like mushy click from two. Barely a click from one. I don't know. It doesn't like me counterclockwise very much, does it? Click from five. That was nice. No. Oh, button is binding. Push my button and open. Wow. Um. Yeah. I was. I got it open a couple times today. Um. I went upstairs when I first got it this early this afternoon. It took me maybe about five minutes to get open. Then I um, brought it down to the camera, couldn't get it open, went back up, got it open in one minute, and now I brought it back down again, and it took me like at least like 10 minutes or so, I don't know. Um, anyways, let's go inside this and see what we got. Um, and then I can finally go on to the, the next lock that he sent me. Might might do the M heart next, but there are two other locks in there that don't have a key. He's there's one that's a two bar, and then the other one is some sort of van lock that he has. Uh, screwdriver. Let's not lock it up. Uh, there are um, grub screws, so I mean, could go in that way. But since we already have it open. Might as well go in this way. One thing I mentioned is it would be neat to see if I can uh, make an like aluminum key for this. It would be fun. Um, my milling machine isn't working right now, so it would give me a little bit of motivation to maybe maybe fix that. Uh, all right, follower. Anything? Sidebar is on the right side. I kind of wish. I kind of wish I had opened it clockwise because I risk the pins dropping down and... Oh, the sidebar is... Yeah, sidebar should block it, right? right anyways, let's, uh, let's catch that sidebar on the way out. And we got it out. Um, we'll take the sidebar out first. So there's our sidebar. It's got a little bit of angle so that when you turn it, it tries to push the sidebar in, right? And that's what gives you your sidebar pressure against the uh, against the pins. Let's take that out and you'll see that this oops this sidebar has these um, finger pins on it right and those are what have to go into slots on the pins themselves and it's got these two deeper cuts in here that's for the little M3 edition of the um, of that little push button you need to do to allow the sidebar to go in. There's two springs that are pushing the sidebar out word um, and then let's dump out some pins so five pin pin one two come on 
three, four. Okay, so those are the four, uh, the five, sorry, the five uh, key pins right there. Um, we'll take out this little bobbin down here. So this is the, the M3 edition where they put in this thing. And it's got these two little little teeth up top here. Oh, there, two little teeth up top. And those are what um, these uh, finger pins will be poking into those two teeth like that. And when you push this, they go to the side. And that allows these little teeth to drop into those two grooves I showed you before. And then otherwise it blocks it from, uh, blocks the finger pins from even going into the, uh, into the key pins. Um, so that's the core. Uh, the core does have serrations on it. So it's got two serrations here on, so it's got serrations on one, two, four, and five, two serrations in each, nothing on three. But what's weird is on this side, the, it does have the serrations, but they've been cut away to make for those, uh, these pins can only rotate um, through a certain amount because they have a little nub sticking off the top of them. And that, uh, that nub limits them to rotate through this amount of angle on the core. And because they cut out this core bit, they've cut right through whatever serration they had, and so there's no serration in that area. Um, anyways, that's the, uh, that's the plug. Then in the Bible, we've got standard pin on one. Oh, and we got some uh, anti-drill half moon there in the front. There's a spring. Two had a mushroom pin. Sorry, I should have showed you the orientation of that. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not going for a belt, right? But that was uh, oriented the correct way. Um, but I, it, it flew out. I lost grip of it. Three is a standard pin. A little bit shorter. Different color spring. It's got a what looks like a schleg spring. There is a long driver pin for four. Another, like, oh, and five just shot out. It was a copper color um, spring for four, so this silver one must be five because the copper one on four didn't come out. Copper one on four didn't come out. It looks, yeah, it's been, a, this one looks like at some point it got a little munged, just a little, so it's not perf affecting its uh, performance, but it makes it so it doesn't just fall out of the, uh, of the um, cylinder. Oh, and another little anti-drill half moon. Um, so that's these pins. Let's zoom in. The lighting is not the best. I gotta figure out, maybe bring out some of my light boxes for photography and figure something out. Um, but there's the pins. These, uh, this one has like a little, sir, uh, little like spool on the key pin. This one, mushroom driver. And let's see, these, some of these should have like little like false gates on them or something. Uh, yeah, this one. So this pin, you can see the true gate right there. And I don't know if I'd call this a false gate or a serration, but there's a serration or a false gate next to it. You can see it better here. True gate's that deep one, and then this like serration here um, to the right of it. Yeah. And are they all like that? Oops. Uh, this one has it as well on the right of it. And I said this one felt backwards and indeed the um, the gate is on the other side. So the pins, if I'm coming from the front, oh geez, the pins, if I'm coming from the front, they, they're oriented like this, but this particular one was oriented like that, like a backwards. So when I came from the front, I got the steeper side of the pin. One side is like steep, the other side, has a long thing. So four of them felt like that long part was facing forward and this one felt like the short part was facing forward. It messes with how you do your rotation. For rotation, I was taking my um, Peterson gem and I have it like this against the pin and I kind of rotate it back and forth across the face 
and if I want to move it left, I nudge it on the left, move it right, I nudge it on the right, or I pull it on the left and pull it on the right and uh, to, to turn it. And so I'll let off the tension, I'll nudge it a little, put on tension, then I'll feel it underneath like this, and if it bounces by gravity, then I know it's set. If it doesn't, if it's binding, then I let off tension, I nudge it again, and just keep trying until, until I get it. Anyways, um, that is the Medico M3. Um, thanks, Georgia Jim. Thanks.